Hello again, Yah here. Let's take a look at what we did for reading. For reading lesson, you are going to need a pencil and one piece of paper that looks like this from your paper packet. Let's get started. First, we watched a super fun video. Have mom ask me for the link if you'd like to watch it. Next, we did our work with foundations. We're remembering our letters that we learned in kindergarten. Let's see what you can remember. What letter is this? Good. Repeat after me. T, top, t. Very good. Let's say it again. T, top, t. T, top, t. Good job. Here's the next one. B, bat, b. Great work. Let's say it again. B, bat, b. Nice job. The last letter we looked at today is this letter. F, fun, Nice work. Let's say it one more time. F, fun, f. Nice job. The next thing you're going to need is to look at your paper. You should see the sky line, the plane line, the grass line, and the worm line. T, B, and F are skyline letters. Let's practice. Point to the skyline. Point to the plane line. Point to the grass line. Point to the worm line. Good job. Grab your pencil and your paper. Let's practice writing the letter T. When writing the letter T, it starts up at the skyline, right here at the top. Put your pencil on the skyline and go down all the way to the grass line. Stop at the grass line, pick up your pencil and go to the plane line and go across on the plane line. Practice writing your T's a couple more times. You start on the skyline, make your way down to the grass line, Pick up your pencil, go to the plane line, and cross on the plane line. Good job. Now let's look at the letter B. B, bat, b. Good job. Just like the letter T, you're going to start on the skyline. Put your pencil on the skyline. Go all the way down to the grass line. Keep your pencil on the paper. Trace back up to the plane line. Go forward and curve around to the grass line. Very nice work. Let's practice writing our B another time. Start at the skyline. Draw a line down to the grass line. Trace back up to the plane line. Go forward and around to the grass line. Nice work. One more. 
We are going to practice writing the letter F. F. Fun. F. Nice work. Now you're going to start on the skyline. Then you're going to trace back on the skyline and then go way down to the grass line. Pick up your pencil and cross on the plane line. F. Fun. Let's say it one more time. Let's write it one more time. Start on the skyline, trace back on the skyline, and then way down to the grass line. Pick up your pencil and cross on the plane line. F. Fun. Nice job. Next, we read a story. Let's see what story we read today. The smallest girl in the smallest grade. Hardly anyone noticed young Sally McCabe, the smallest girl in the smallest grade. <laughs> sure, her name could be heard in the daily roll call, and she marched with her books down the same school hall, but hardly anyone noticed young Sally McCabe, and they certainly didn't know, or at least didn't mention that Sally was paying soup for extra special attention. To the abandoned kite with the tangled string, to the 27 keys on the janitor's ring, to the leaves as they turn green to gold in the fall, to the time Tommy Torino was tripped in the hall. She watched as the wildflowers tipped toward the light, and heard the howl of a hound dog at night. She was there when the stray cats, who normally fought, conducted a meeting in the church parking lot. She saw Kevin McQuinn get pushed off a slide and the oncoming tears that he wanted to hide. And she'll never forget that parent-teacher day when Billy's much larger father suddenly dragged him away. But through all the mean words and all the cold stares, no one even noticed that Sally was there. And they certainly didn't know, or at least didn't mention, that Sally was paying super extra special attention. She'd seen how a whisper could make someone cower like a bulldozer crushing through fields of wildflowers. And it kept piling up this discarded debris, those beautiful kites tangled in trees. So on February 3rd at 11.29, Sally stepped straight out of the lunchroom line. She said... I'm tired of seeing this terrible stuff. Stop hurting each other. This is enough. Now, a few laughed out loud or didn't care that there was some girl with her hand in the air. But then something super extra special happened that day as Howard O. Henry suddenly set down his tray. Like waves rolling in one after another, first Molly rose up, then Michael's twin brother. It was Tyrone and Terrence, then Amanda and Paul, who pushed out their chairs and stretched their arms tall. From the friendly lunch lady with the dishes she carded, to that new third grade teacher who had only recently started. Yes, everyone there, even Principal Claire, had joined little Sally with her fingers in the air. 
And though hound dogs were destined to howl at night, and most stray cat meetings would end up as fights, and kites would continue to get stuck in trees, they all felt for a moment like the janitor's keys. Fastened together with this heavy steel ring that held all the secrets to unlock everything. As the world returned to the way that it was, Sally noticed the difference as she usually does when Billy paused briefly to open the door for Mrs. O'Connell and 17 more or when Molly scooched over to make some space on the coral riser for Ellen and Grace. These moments that often get taken for granted, a wildflower appearing that no one had planted. The swings soon resumed their rhythm and sway, and day turned to night and night turned to day. People remembered and would quite often mention that Sally had been paying super extra special attention and how the world could transform and a change could be made by the smallest girl in the smallest grade. The end. I love that story. Ah. No. <laughs> Okay, here I am again. I love that story. Let's see what's next. Ooh, next we played our game. You need to help Mickey Mouse make it to the end of the road rally. Let's go. Let's take two sounds and put them together to say a word. Here we go. K and and can. Good job. Er, un. Er, un, run. Nice work. In. In. Thin. Good. Nice work. Mickey Mouse is on the road. Now we get to take two words and put them together to make a compound word. Like this. Tea. Pot. Teapot. Your turn. Nice work. Pan, cake, pancake. Very good job. Lip, stick, lipstick. Mickey Mouse is on the road. All right, now you're going to repeat the rhyming words. I'll say it first, and then you'll say it. Bat, cat. Good job. Pig, dig. Good job. Hut, cut. Good work. Mickey Mouse is getting closer. All right, our new game. I am going to say some words or sentences. If I say a word, touch your head. If I say a sentence, touch your ear. Let's get started. Jump. Jump. I can jump. I can jump. We will go home. We will go home. 
at at <gasps> Mickey Mouse made it to the end of the road rally. Nice work. Your homework for today, you want to read at least 10 minutes. You can read any books you have at home or you can read on Epic Reader. Also, I want you to complete all three rows for T, B, and F. There are more letters on this page, but you do not have to do them today. Please just do T, B, and F. Nice work. Have fun.